Hi guys, welcome back, Nick Reeves, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video is the next part in the ME109 build, I think it's part 11. Um, progress has been made pretty quickly on this one, just now. i um, been trying to get ready a couple of other models um, for a scale day that we've got at our club coming this weekend. But in the meantime, while glue's been dry, I've been doing that. And then once glue's dry, I've been driving, come back to the 109. So, fuselage is coming along. Done a lot more sanding, shaping at the front end. Don't know how well you're going to see that. You can probably see this filler all down it. So I'm slightly putting skims of filler on just to fill up the little holes. And you can see I've made a start on the tail end. Uh, all I've done there is just started rounding off, shaping the uh, tailplane. That needs to go in before... The, what would be the rudder, which can be fixed on this, but what would be the rudder gets glued on. Now, one of the reasons for putting that on is I want the tailplane on so I can get all the wing fitted up nicely to the fuselage, make sure it's all nice and square. In the previous video, you probably saw that there's an issue with the wing seat. I haven't even looked at that at all yet. I've been concentrating on trying to get the various bits done. So that's the fuselage just now. The wing, if we just move this over here, The wing, uh, again, it's been sanding, filling, sanding, filling. Um, I don't know if you can see there, I've been putting the linings in. These are just bits of credit, old credit card, just sprung over just to hold the linings in place. Um, what I did do, or what I can't do, is keep the, the linings of the wells below the surface of the skin. But then I did a couple and I thought, hold on. I can take them down to whatever depth I want because once they glue, because of this tool, my mini router. If you haven't seen the video for that yet, I'll put the link up there somewhere now. Um, great little tool, highly recommend it. So what I've done is I've set the tip depth. I don't know, I can, I don't know if you'll be able to see. You can see the tool in there? Maybe, maybe not. But I've set the depth of that. Probably about two millimeters, which is probably just a little bit more than the thickness of the servo mount covers hatches. So what I'll do is I'll be going round very slowly, just t taking off just a part of the, the top edge of the the mount mounting blocks and the linings, just so it's all a nice flush fit. Now what I did also do, which I only realised a little while ago, is I've put uh, well so well linings on both the inboard sides of course then I've got to cut them out to get a, um, a servo lead through so yeah that's one to remember so I'm going to crack on with that and then once that's done I can try off fit all the servos into the wings make sure that I'm happy with them um, I'll then be able to sand down the last little bits on the wing and then the next stage for me, is going to be doing the skinning of the underside of the wing and the glass. If for no other reason, there's lots of little fragile bits on this wing, like almost feather edge tips, which I want to strengthen up, just so they don't get dinked going around the workshop. Um, so yeah, I'll crack on with that. And I'll come back to you in a little while. All right, so first of all, the battery went flat in the travel, so I've only managed to get one side done. Um, the idea worked pretty well, but I won't really know how well until I come to actually screw the the hatch down. Possibly see there. I don't know if you can see that or not, to be honest. So I've got the other side to do. There's some more sanding to do. And then I should be just about ready for glassing on the side, which I mentioned. Um, but I want to get these bits done first. So, possibly just now, I'll finish this video just now. And then the next video, I'll have everything ready for doing the glassing I want to do. Um, I might well glass some of the fuselage as well, I'm not sure yet. Um, I want to keep it as light as possible, just because it's going to be a slope sawer. 
Um, but I also want to make it quite rugged. So, let's see. I might just do the wing. Because um, then I can just cover it with the... I'm still going to... I'm not going to uh, glass, resin and glass finish. I'm just going to go for a basic glass with resin to hold it on. And then filming over the top. I'm not going to go to the lengths of filling and priming, filling and priming, filling and priming, top coat, blah, blah, blah. That's just going to have too much weight. What I want to do, um, the glass is purely there for strength, uh, not finish. So I'm, what I want is to actually have a matte finish to the glass. So that when I come to stick the film on, I can put the balsa lock or whatever it's called now, cover grip on, so the film sticks really well. I'll then test fly it in a film covering finish. <laughs> if it flies fine, I'll then take a paintbrush or airbrush to it and then airbrush the film. So that as and when the paint chips off, it's going to look like silver metal underneath. That's the plan anyway. Um, the other thing I've got to do, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it yet, is I've got to make a spinner for the front. Um, it shouldn't be too difficult. I just don't know what to make it out of yet. Somebody suggested um, MDF to give it weight at the front. Not sure. I might just make it out of blue foam or something like that. I'll stick it on. Because with the only one that's got the, the chopped off front, it's a, I think there's a, a gun or a cannon fired through the centre of it. So it's going to be fairly easy to make a spinner for it. As you can get the right profile. But uh, yeah, for now, that's it. So I shall see you in the next video. And until then, I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching the video. Give us a thumbs up if you like what I've just shown you. Click on my face down here. You can subscribe. Remember to tick the bell so you get notifications as to when new videos are put up. And down this side, there'll probably be some videos that you might also like to watch. Catch you next time.